Hello and welcome, this is S Tier Rank. Today I'm playing some more Armored Core 6, Fires of Rubicon. Let's go ahead and hop in. I think I'm going to start off today doing some arena matches and let's check out the first one. G4 Alta, Cannon Head. Gun 4 of the Red Guns, the Balaam Group's AC Squad. After beating the rebellious Volta and the Iguazu into submission, Michigan made it his personal crusade to make something of the two and thus began their daily hell. For the past seven years, neither Volta nor Iguazu have achieved their goal to punch the living daylights out of Michigan and get the hell out of the Red Guns, as they would put it. Volta has since admitted defeat as now learning about business from Wu Wai. I think is how you say it. Okay. Let's see if we can do this, and if not, we will swap it up and go to tanks or something else. This will be my first thing of the night, so we'll Arena see how we do. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 17, entering rank C. Hmm. Subject AC, cannon head. Call sign, gun 4 Volta. This looks pretty high end, I'm not sure about this. Commencing evaluation. We'll see. Main system. Activating combat mode. In the desert level. Can't remember if I've had a match on this yet or not. Or if he's gonna come running up the hill. Huh. Yep. There he is. Woo wee! Got a good hit on him. Let's see if we can do that again and get some points. There we go. Not so bad so far. Looks like he's got a shotgun, so I need to keep range on that anytime he comes close. Don't want him getting a freebie on me. Looks like he's having a hard time dodging my plasma. Wow, somehow I missed the bazooka though, that's not good. Alright. Making progress. Let's keep it up. Right hand definition at fifty percent. Oh. I don't know why I let him corner me like that. That was weird. Guess I should pay attention to the world boundaries a little better, huh? He's pretty easy to dodge. Okay. I'd say he was nothing special. Target right, destroyed. Nice. Concluding evaluation. Well done. Heck yeah. Let's get another one. V7 Pater. Or V8 Pater. Okay, dual nature. A squad leader of the Vespers, Archivist Group's augmented human squad, a product of Generation 10, the latest and currently practiced form of augmentation surgery. Pater represents a culmination of efforts to preserve the patient's humanity through coral replacement technology. At times, this, his noticeably unreserved remarks hint at an underlying Lack of empathy, one might assume this to be a side effect of the surgery, but this trait has in fact been with him since long before his augmentation. Another interesting looking emblem. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 16, rank C. Subject AC, dual nature. Call sign V8 Hater. Commencing. That's a bipedal, I'm guessing. Or not a bipedal, but a reverse joint, so I guess we're gonna see some jumping. Because I think that was a reverse joint. Oh. 
has an interesting assortment. Plasma sword and everything. Looks like he's going to be a quick work though. He has some sort of major uh, pattern change on me. It's going to stay on the ground. Doesn't seem to do very well against me. I don't think it's going to matter. Making Swiss cheese of him. It's got to have some secret. This is weird. Oh, did he show that? Interesting. Alright. Ah, he does have a shield. Should've guessed. Wow, even easier than the previous one. Okay. Target destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done. Wish I had a taunt button. Just like in Smash Brothers. Okay. Nice, got more chips. And a cool new emblem. Okay, let's see about our next one. Sula, Entangle, a veteran independent missionary who is active in the star system surrounding Rubicon before the fires of Ibis. Sula is a patient of Generation 1 augmentation, or better said, a survivor. The technology in its infancy had less than a 10% success rate. Though he escaped the fate of the others, Sula is followed by the specter of death wherever he goes. After recover receiving his surgery, Sula lost interest in most mercenary work and now lives only for the hunt. It's unclear who currently employs him. Alright. Hmm. Might need tank for this, but we'll see. Weird. Sub AC in angle. Call sign Sula. Commence evaluation. What are on the network issues? Main system activating combat mode. Oh, this is that one boss battle arena. This be fun. Got on him. Well, he is just eating that plasma, isn't he? So weird. Wow, GG. It's just getting easier with each match. more complex or a boros or something. Alright, let's tune our OS. Ah, oh, we need 10 to get that final one. So that's a whole nother match. Okay. That's okay. Chatty stick. Circus. The right hand of RAD swing leader and chief engineer Cinder Carla. One day, Carla built a sample suggestion-based AI to provide basic support and occasional entertainment. However, no matter what conversational prompt she gave him, he would never say more than necessary. 
Instead, it seemed that he was con content to be a good listener to his creator's free-spirited, eccentric ideas. Hmm. Let's see if it's any good at fighting. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 14, rank C. Heavy explosives and a lot of missiles. Yeah, this could be hard. I'm gonna have to watch out and dodge. I'm guessing mid and close might be where I'm best suited. Avoid those missiles, perhaps. Hope it's not too fast. Oh yeah, already trying to roll me with missiles. There we go. Doesn't look like it's gonna matter though. Wow. Well, they got a combo on me for a change. Seems to be having a really hard time dodging this build. It's crazy. Well done. He did get a few hits on me that time though. I slipped up a little bit and got careless. That's an interesting emblem. I guess it's missiles launching <laughs> in all different directions. I like it. All right, let's do OS tuning, and we're gonna max that out. 15% damage mitigation, leaving us two chips, and we'll do that next one. Middle Flatwell, Subasa, the de facto military leader of the RLF. His authority is second only to that of Father Dolmayan, and his standing with the organization has earned him an informal title as a fellow elder. He is the uncle of the Liberation Front to Domain's father. For a time, Flatwell served as a, worked as a spy within the Extraplanetary Corporations and has sway over a rather significant contact in Schneider's HR department. Okay. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 13. Mm, it's going to be a serious one if it's in this training room. They always seem to be the hardest. Hmm, okay. I wish that they like animated a intimidating like jujitsu move or something. A karate kick. I think that would look awesome. Oh yeah, this one might be hard. Look at that recovery time I want to. It's already got me locked up once. Buddy. I'm having a hard time tracking them. Just want to spam them with plasma. Uh oh. It's recovering. Ah! Darn it. Yep. I had a feeling about that one being a tough one. Maybe I'll have to get it on the second try. Oof. Has a very fast stagger recovery. Can't give them an inch or they'll take a mile, I'll tell you that.
Uh oh. I wonder if I want to get in the air so enough to be able to have a good chance to get this guy. There we go. Whew, I did not think I had him. Looks like my missiles or what helped me prevail. Wow. This concludes that was intense. Well done. I definitely got my heart rate up compared to the other ones. Okay, cool. Incoming. Congratulations, you have surpassed rank C. We hope that our aid has helped push you to achieve greater things. All Mind exists for all mercenaries. Okay, there we are. So let's see, we can make repair kits more effective. We can do quite a bit of stuff to attack. What about core expansions? That's pretty cool. What else do we have? I've already done all the system unlocks. What about terminal armor? Triggers a pulse barrier automatically. That'd be nice. I think I'll do that actually. It'd be nice to have a passive that helps me when I get overloaded. Alright, uh, let's check out the parts shop and see if there's anything we should snag. Thinking not, but we'll double check. Huh. This has some nice improvements, but before I do that, I do want to save my AC as it is. Let's see. I see where it is from here. Uh, I don't think it's in there. There we go. I think it's in here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll call it that just so we know. It was a pretty good bot. Okay. So, back to the part shop. Let's see what we can do here. We are on the right arm unit. And, let's see. Huh, that's interesting. 205. What else we have? Might be one of the better things that is out here right now. Huh. More ammo. Or the ammunition cost goes down significantly, actually. So with missions, I might be able to do a little bit better. Wait. It's only marginally better. This attack power goes down a ton. Interesting, though. Might be a good way just to like do like constant little bits of damage. We'll give it a try. Looks like an improved laser blade. Maybe we'll do that too. I'd like to switch it up a little bit. I've been using a lot of shooting related stuff, so let's keep looking. Do do do. Hmm. Not seeing anything there. I think I'll go ahead and buy this one. Well, let's see. Aerial combat. I'm not sure about that. Maybe with paired with my sword, maybe that would be cool. Yeah, we'll do it. Oh, the lander arms. Let's do that too. Okay, well that blows most of my money, so let's go into AC design. And let's start the arms just in case I get overburdened. It's a pretty big increase in the areas that it does increase. And let's look for our new one. There we go. Our scutter. And we want to use our new laser blade. Okay. Let's read the description on it. 
Charge the weapon to increase laser output, enabling combo attacks. Okay, so it charges as well. Interesting. That would be fun to experience. Okay. And did I get a left back unit? I feel like I had one more thing. Oh, I think it was arms, actually, which I've already swapped. All right. Sweet. Um, let's look at boosters for a second. I'm just leave it as is. All right. Let's do a sortie. And we want to replay Tunnel Sabotage. Nah. Let's look for a new level. Survive the uninhabited floating city. Disable targets in the alien oceans island, the floating city. Activate all ECM fog control devices and survey Xylem, the fo floating city. This is a personal request from a friend. We still don't have enough data to pin down where the coral is gathering in the ice field. According to my friend's sources, we could find some clues here. Xylem. A city floating on the ocean, built by the Rubicon Research Institute. Ever since the fires, that place has been abandoned. It's likely hiding secrets about the coral, kept shrouded by the city's ECM fog. My friends already tried sending in a survey drone, only to lose it in the interference. That's where you come in. I want you to disable the ECM fog generators so that we can resume the survey. Right now, the corporations are preoccupied with the PCA. We can be the first ones to identify where the coral is converging. Okay, sounds like an interesting uh, scenario here. Let's go ahead and hop in and see how we do. I wonder if this is a reference to that Sula match that I had and I was losing connectivity. This could be that mission, who knows? Main system. Activating combat mode. I think the arena is usually a preview of bosses I wanted to fight. Uh, I'm supposed to do something? Okay. Well, I don't know. Uh, strange. Let's just fly around for a minute. Explosive device, that's crazy. So we don't want to let those get too close to us.
Hmm. So I guess this one we just have to literally go around in the fog until we find stuff. Okay then. I'm having difficulty navigating, but perhaps that's the point. We'll keep looking. I'm sure we'll have to run around a couple times, so we'll get used to the pattern. Well, it's interesting that. Ah, okay. The area isn't per perfectly rectangular. Wish I had a mini map, though. I feel like I'm still not using some of my features for combat and stuff that are available to me. I need to look into it a little bit more. I'm not seeing anything yet. This is bizarre, man. Uh, let's keep looking though. Ah, oh, here's one. Looks like he's got a similar weapon to me. Pretty good at flying around. Okay. Supposed to follow the red beacons and I'll get to the next one. Let's see. Oh, somebody's engaging. Ah, oh, it's this guy. See you later. This is like an ambush point. Okay, now I feel like I've already been to this area before. So maybe I need to head out over that way. See, this level's tricky too because you can't get too high, uh, or else you'll not be able to see what's going on in the ground area. Hmm. Let's keep cruising around for a bit. Okay, I think this is the one I just did. So, let's see, maybe going out this direction? Wait, I saw something. No, nope, guess not. Aha! Getting some hits on me. Alright, don't let him do it. 
Ooh Losing that tracking so quickly. Ah, where did it go? Oh, I think it somehow blew itself up. Weird. Okay. Let's see if there's one in this area. Had to be guarding something, right? Aha! Maybe this is something. Well, I still don't know if I have to go... Oh, I've got a combat log. Good. Okay. So I assume this means there's got to be a generator here somewhere. Maybe I'm supposed to follow. It's really unclear to me. Okay, there is a world boundary. Ah, here's another one. Okay. I wonder if the world boundary is moving around me. I can see that happening to you. Huh. Oh, cool. Aorta. I wonder what that is. Cool. Where's the generator? Oh. Keep on the feeling that I've already been here, so I need to go back to that marker. Wonder if it's actually really obvious how to get through this level, and I just messed up the navigation somehow. <laughs> it's starting to feel like that's a possibility. Alright, so I'm here, and I just think that must mean there's got to be one sitting around nearby. Let's try following this trail. Oh, here's an enemy. Probably means we're getting close. Okay, where did he go? Light shoulder ammunition at fifty percent. Oh, I forgot to switch out the head on my AC. That's what I was thinking about. Okay. See, maybe this is the next marker I'm supposed to be at. Cool. Observation data the city is Xylem. Observation data extracted from a survey drone. Perhaps this was recorded by Handler Walter's friend. Xylem remains fully operational. The planetary closure administration did their best to hide the place, but I'll find a way there soon enough. Only ones you know are the PCA and. Wait! Hostile raids! Oh! I got one of them down most of the way at least. Here we go. You can really hit hard with that, can't you? Get that charge going. Oh, I wish I'd saved more of my missiles. These guys are jerks. I think I've almost got that one with the laser lit. Oh, looks like I've almost got at least two of them. I can't tell if I've taken out the third yet. Oh, where'd that buddy go? Oh. 
like some sort of crazy electric grenades. I got this one? Or how that worked out? I didn't think I was getting hits. Now we know what happened to the drone. Huh. Okay then. Fortunately, the data we found helps to identify where the last ECM device is. I've set a marker for it. Mm. Let's check it out. Hmm. Text data, domains, rotting three. Text data extracted from a wreck. This appears to come from the rotting of some domain. Father of the Liberation Front. Symbiosis. She seemed to be contemplating the meaning of the word. This moment of happiness we share came at the cost comes at the cost of her siblings. Sacrifice is all. Is that symbiosis? Surely not. It's been a long time since we've been on a mission together without Walter. The control device isn't going anywhere. Take your time, Raven. Raven, that's the last of the control devices. Hmm. I wonder if this is a hint that I should be looking around in case there's a combat log or something else to do. I'll look around just a little bit before we hop over. This seem like there's a good chance for stuff to hide around on this level. So it's a doozy. Been a lot of fun. I wonder if I can get all the way on top of this. Oh, you can. Nice. Oh, I see something flashing over here. I thought I did. Let's keep looking. Sticking with the high grounds for now. Well, I don't know. Oh, there's something. Maybe it's just reflections of this water, whatever it is. Maybe it's uh, shimmering at a certain angle and looking like electricity or energy. But nothing's actually happening. Go back out this way a little bit. Because we know we're... Okay. I can't go. Alright. We'll go ahead and take this one out. I bet there's going to be a fight. Oh boy. Not sure what to do with this. So we can take out the little guys. Some more of them. This will be fun. This will be really fun. I can just keep doing this. There we go. Cool. Light shoulder ammunition completed. 
Man, with that Arisa probably, I don't know how I'm gonna do this actually. Looks like I'm out of defenses. He's down. Okay, good. Hopefully that's all of those for the moment. And focus on our annoying bird. Staying up so high, I'm having a hard time getting within range with my knife. Oh, should have dodged some of those. I wonder if this is the same kind of helicopter I fought early in the game or if it's a heavier duty version. Surely it's heavier duty. Seems to be a good spot to get it caught in. Oh yeah. Oh, getting myself stuck. Oh. Darn. Should have watched out for that Hellfire missile there. Okay. So, let's see. It's getting aggressive now. A little speed up and that's turn around there. It was holding back the juice. Gotta get up higher if I want to get a chance at it. Okay, gotta get the boost. Good hit. That's a ton of fun. Another really unique mission. Oh, a new generator, the aorta. Oh, good. 
Javelin Beta. Okay. Hopefully it's nice. Raven, the city's defense systems were still in operation after all this time. And stranger still, the PCA personally intervened to block the survey. There must be more to Zylum. And to Walter's friend. Okay. So, let's see. I want to check out our assembly, and I want to see about that new part that I unlocked. I think it was something beta. Javelin alpha, maybe? Or javelin beta. Maybe it's a left hand? Nope, maybe I have to buy it. Um, let's see if the generator here is available. The aorta. Coral-based internal combustion generator developed long ago by the Rubicon Research Institute. This model takes advantage of the coral's biological traits, enabling rapid recovery by pushing combustion to its limit. Let's see, it dips down on recharge and recovery, and supply efficiency and recharge delay, but energy capacity goes up. Post-recovery energy supply nearly doubles. And then small raises on a few other things, um, except for energy capacity. Okay, I think this is decent and a decrease in weight overall, so I think we'll take it. Oh, there's a terminal armor. I forgot I got this as well. Shoot. Wish I had equipped it already. Okay. And let's see, did I put on the head that I bought? That's the other thing I meant to check out. Alright, what do we get with this one? Attitude, stability, system recovery, and scan distance improvements. Uh, yeah, I don't know if this one's a good swap. Total load goes down, I guess, because of the weight change. Energy load increases, though. Hmm. Let me see about attitude stability. Less likely it is to stagger. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe it is worth it. The AP resilience of it, though, that's the only part. I guess we could try it for a little bit. If we don't like it, we'll go back to the Melander. And I think that we already did the arms, right? Yeah. All right, now what else do we want to do? We want to, there's something else we want to check out. Oh yeah, I think the inside of the parts shop, we might have that new weapon. No? Let's see. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's a back mounted thing. It was something beta, I thought. Do do do. Oh, is that it? Javelin beta. That's why I wasn't finding it. Okay. Is it only on one side though? Yep. Okay, let's find it again. Javelin Beta Missile Launcher. That's pretty cool. Attack power goes up, impact goes considerably up, cumulative impact goes almost double. Let's look at some of these other pieces like direct hit adjustment. Damage multiplier when attacking a staggered enemy. Nice. Guidance improves. Range goes down a lot. A half. Homing lock time takes a while. Can only do it in one target. Okay. But reload is about half. I don't know, but maybe we'll give it a shot. Why not? We can always reload our assembly the way we had it before if we want to. Okay. So, is it right back unit? Yeah. 
Okay. And I think I am going to keep the, uh, let's see, the, was it the pulse blade? Laser blade. Yeah, we'll keep that on for a little bit. All right, let's see if there's another mission we want to take out. Heavy missile launch support. Defend the objective. Defend the main missile of the RAD missile battery until the launch sequence completes. Additional rewards for defending submissiles. Long time no see, tourist. I've got a job for you. The PCA show of force has finally started to affect my own business. Those spineless coyotes jumped at the chance to become their lackeys. Now they're feeling ambitious and sniffing around RAD territory again. I'd say this calls for fireworks, and I've got something that'll blow them away. The coyotes can be ungrateful, though. They're bound to come running to stop the launch. That's where you come in. Intercept them and defend the missiles. We'll make sure the Coyotes and the PCA get a chance to see R.A.D.'s famous fireworks. Okay. Here we go. It's almost time, Raven. Let's head over. New build. We'll see how it does. Who's left? Anyone? Doesn't look like it. Where are they coming from? Okay, easy peasy. Chatty was one of the people I beat. Oh, yeah. You haven't met. Chatty's our systems admin. Doesn't talk much, but he knows his stuff. Anyway, no time for pleasantries. Oh, five We've whole minutes. Okay. With. Never thought they'd end up palling around with the PCA. Smart, but not for long. Here comes the second wave. Keep the fireworks safe. Okay, here we are. Coming from the front left side. Intercept Raven. Oh wow, I'm doing a number on that missile, aren't I? Probably need something like songbirds or something on this to just like keep hitting them with heavy explosives. Like Someone on one might not be enough. I almost pity the poor fools. Okay, who else we have? They're coming from the bridge. Look at all those coyotes. Don't let them slip past you. Nice. Yeah. 
Okay, gotta get these others. I don't think I'm gonna get this sub missile. Detected. Oh. Three minutes left. Who's left? Missile launch sequence at fifty percent. Chatty's almost ready. Don't fail us now, tourist. Oh, here comes some more up through the middle. We got more toy box specs. Don't let any through. We've lost one sub missile. They're walking all over us. Do your job, tourist. Here we go. Nice. Two minutes left. This is tense. They don't seem to bother with uh, targeting me at all. It's crazy. Well, where are they going to come from? It's too quiet. Oh, there they are. Would have to do something like this. We've only got the main missile left, tourist. Guard it with your life. Oh, I'm trying. All right, nice. <laughs> there is the predicted impact point. Looks like I was a little off. Well, close oh, enough wow. is good enough for me. Nice. They really are like fireworks. <laughs> oh wow, they're just running away. That was fun. What do you think grenades would be like a really helpful one on that? One new message. Chatty Stick, RAD. Thanks for helping with the fireworks show. The Chief loved working with you, so don't be a stranger. That's all I had to say. Later. Okay, well, excellent. Well, let's go ahead and roll credits and say thanks for watching. This has been STR Inc. Follow me on Mastodon, Twitch, and YouTube at STR Inc. And I'll have an upload on YouTube soon. Thanks. Have a good day.